Hello and welcome. My name is Biagio Mazza, pastoral associate at St. Sabina Parish in Delta, Missouri, and I'm here to welcome you to another Do You Know series question. Today's Do You Know question is, do you know how to enter spiritually into the Lenten Holy Week experience? Uh, Lent highlights for us throughout the entire year all the key themes that we as disciples should be practicing and developing throughout the entire liturgical year. Lent is a unique opportunity to de deepen our spiritual lives, our prayer lives and our relationship with God, to exercise fasting as a way of disciplining ourselves and as a way of reaching out to others in need, especially through almsgiving. Um, all these practices should be the ordinary practices of the disciples throughout the entire year. Uh, so Lent offers us a unique opportunity to renew and deepen our Christian dis these Christian disciplines that we've been talking about, as well as to examine our lives, to repent of what th has led us astray from God, and to turn back to God's loving mercy and forgiveness, which is always there. It's never taken away from us, no matter where we choose to go or how far we stray. So Holy Week is the very heart of the Lenten season, and it prepares us to enter more fully into the, 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 ho the holiest days of the year, the, the Triduum. Uh, these are the three days associated with uh, the uh, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday, leading to the Easter Vigil, in which we celebrate to the nth degree the Paschal Mystery, the Paschal Mystery being Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection. So uh, the, the, the first account that we have of the Holy Week uh, experience, and even the Lenten experience, is from a diary written by a woman called Egeria, roughly in the year 381 to 384, where she takes a pilgrimage to Jerusalem and to the Holy Land and really uh, writes down for us uh, um, it, all the, what happened during Lent in the, in the city of Jerusalem and the various liturgies and so on, leading up to Holy Week and the celebration of the Triduum. Um, she speaks about how uh, the, on the Sunday before Easter, uh, the Jerusalem uh, Christian community would gather and really uh, go to the various places where Jesus uh, traveled and experienced during that final week of his life in Jerusalem, uh, beginning with uh, 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 the experience uh, on the Sunday that they call the beginning of the Great Week, as it was known at the time, beginning with movement to the Mount of Olives outside the city of Jerusalem, and ultimately uh, recalling Jesus' entrance into the city of Jerusalem from the Mount of Olives, in which the people praised him as the son of David with palms and so on. So that recalled the, the, uh, the uh, actual uh, entrance of Jesus into Jerusalem uh, uh, as he was praised by people. And then they moved to the various days of the week, on Holy Monday, for example, as it was referred to, the focus was on Jesus uh, actually cursing uh, the fig tree and his m controversy with the Jewish leaders. On Holy Tuesday, uh, the focus was on pa the scriptural passage in which Jesus predicted his passion, death, and resurrection. And on uh, Holy Wednesday, often referred to as Spy Wednesday, we had the focus on the passages where Judas conspired with the Jewish leaders to uh, against Jesus, to betray Jesus, as well as uh, Jesus' anointing at Bethany by Mary for his burial. Um, so these are all the three days of the Holy Week that really are an excellent preparation for us to enter into the last three days of the week, which would be uh, the Triduum. Again, these would be Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and the Easter, uh, Holy Saturday, leading to the Easter Vigil, the celebration of Jesus' resurrection. Um, so th this forms the heart of the entire liturgical year. So I would like to just suggest a few ways in which we, uh, few good ways in which we could enter into, in a spiritual mode, into the, the whole e Lenten Holy Week experience. Um, one of the ways would be to just calm down. And one of the ways to do that would be to listen to some music, 
that would be soothe you, that would uh, uh, help you to enter into a more spiritual space. Uh, it helps you to uh, enter into a relationship, a deeper relationship and understanding of uh, the, the whole experience that Jesus was going through. It enables you also to, to really focus on. You, you know, you can use um, uh, music with meaningful words or uh, instrumental music, anything that helps you enter into a spiritual place and calms you down and allows you to breathe easily. Uh, another way would be to prepare a special meal for your family, or even if you live alone, to bring a friend in, to prepare a special meal where you sit down, you make sure they're all sharing the meal, and in the process, what does this period of time in the liturgical year mean for you? What does the Holy Week experience mean to you, and so on? Um, another way to do this is to choose a passion narrative, if you want, and read it to yourself, either uh, silently or out loud, throughout the entire week. Read it slowly and, and really meditate on it. Um, the other thing would be, uh, you know, create a quiet time, sometimes in the evening when it's quiet and so on, things have slowed down, where you can focus in on various images and symbols that are associated with Holy Week. It can be, for example, palms. Uh, it can be uh, looking at the pictures of uh, uh, loved ones who have passed away. Uh, it can be even uh, drawing or recalling to mind the significance of bread, of uh, hands, of face, uh, anything, a journey, a road, anything that would connect with the experiences of the Holy Week. And finally, another way would be to really spend the week on a kind of a spiritual journey, if you want, with Jesus, really connecting with Jesus in this final week of his uh, life uh, as he uh, as he faces death at the end of it, uh, to really enter into a kind of a, uh, what was he thinking? Uh, what was he feeling? Uh, what was he going through? What was he experiencing? And use your imagination to enter into that and really allow that to really take up uh, much of your thought and your spiritual reflection. So these are, uh, these, th there are many other ways, but these are just a few suggestions of how you could enter more spiritually into the Lenten Holy Week experience. So it enables us to prepare to really celebrate the Triduum in a meaningful and deeper way and enter into the experience that Jesus is going through those, uh, those three days. So I hope this has helped to, ex to explain just a bit how, how you could enter more spiritually into the, the whole Lenten Holy Week experience, and I hope you'll return again as we continue to delve into the richness of our liturgical experiences through Lent. Thank you very much.